Hi, I'm John Wilder, historian for Aleppo Shrine. And uh, what a, uh, an awesome location to be here in, uh, in the Masonic Temple in Warren, Rhode Island, with this great uh, imagery. I feel right at home in my shrine fez. Uh, I brought an interesting fez to share with you today. Um, I picked this up in my travels. Uh, I, don't, I don't buy a lot. Um, I'm not much of a collector myself, which people are usually surprised about, but I couldn't pass this up because it's a great example. Um, it's a shrine fez from Aesop Shrine, and it belonged to an imperial potentate. Now, those of you who are shriners will know that the imperial potentate is the national, or rather international, leader of the entire shrine. Um, but usually, within uh, the mainstream shrine, the Imperial Potentate's Fez is denoted by five stars. Uh, for our brothers in the, um, in the Prince Hall affiliated Shriners, which is the ancient Egyptian Arabic order of the nobles of the Mystic Shrine, uh, their Imperial Potentate is denoted by five uh, pyramids or triangles. So I was curious to find one that actually said Imperial Potentate and also with a purple tassel. So I started doing some research and um, come to find out this is from a clandestine organization. Now, some of you may have heard of clandestine blue lodges. These are lodges that are not recognized by a regular uh, Grand Lodge and a lot will trace it back to specifically not a Grand Lodge not recognized by the United Grand Lodge of England. Uh, but traditionally, I think the rule of thumb is if the Grand Lodge was not founded by another Grand Lodge. Um, but a lot of people will be surprised to find out that these organizations, that they will grow and they will have all of the appended bodies. So you will find clandestine shrines, York Rite, Scottish Rite, Order of the Eastern Star, all of the auxiliary independent bodies. So you, you do come across uh, shrine fezes that have different designs. A common one that was based out of uh, Chicago had the um, scimitar and crescent with the Maltese cross below it. That one has come up a number of times. That started in the early 1900s. I forget the gentleman's name, but he decided that the founders of the shrine had no right to found, to found the shrine and contacted the actual shrine in the Middle East and got actual dispensation uh, to start the shrine, his own shrine, even though we know that there was no actual shrine in the Middle East. Um, but this particular fez was made in San Francisco by the B. Pasquale Company, Army and Navy uh, Society Goods. But it's just an interesting example to have uh, to point out that there are uh, irregular and clandestine groups. Some have noble purposes just to uh, promote the fraternity. Others have more nefarious means and are somewhat of a pyramid scheme collecting money. So it's always important to know when you're out traveling as a Mason, know where you're traveling, um, know that your lodge, um, you know, is, is, rec is recognized. You can always contact your Grand Lodge. They will have a list of lodges that are recognized uh, by your Grand Lodge. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's just an interesting piece to, uh, to talk about something that is more common than, uh, than a lot of people realize. So with that, uh, if you like what you see, remember to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you.